Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coins. And during the Team of the Year period, there is a special 14% bonus and 10 million foot coin giveaway. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. Yo, 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 what is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. As you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the best, most insane 400k hybrids on FIFA 21. This team is absolutely insane. It really, 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 really is incredible. So again, I recommend that you guys go ahead and get it. But with that being said, before I jump into the squad builder, make sure you guys do click the link down below in the description and check out my foot champions highlights. All right, the last episode on the RTG account make sure you guys go ahead and check that out but anyways enough of me waffling let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 400k hybrid the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 4-3-3 third variation just for chemistry reasons though at the end of the video i'll show you what formation you should switch to in a game but let's waste no more time and let's just get straight into it so in the striker position ladies and gentlemen we do have an incredible inform right this inform is so overpowered i've spoken about this guy so many times we've, we've actually got him on, we've just bought him on the rtg account as well um like i said link down below in the description for the foot champions highlights on that but we do have inform jao felix an incredible player to use in fifa man i've actually got him on on this account on my main account i've actually got him in the form of a red foot champions version this guy's absolutely incredible i've used him so much in fifa and i just love him to bits he is such a meta card this is his record for me as well man he's, his record is insane for me 171 games played 142 goals 90 assists absolutely ridiculous man he's got four, five star skill moves four star weak foot he's pacey his finishing is absolutely ridiculous like he is so clinical his agility balance ball control dribbling and composure is just fantastic he really really is a great card in fifa and i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get him but with that being said moving on in towards the left wing position guys we do have none other than the man himself eden hazard man Eden, Eden, Eden Hazard, man. A great, great card to use in FIFA. And I like him so much. <clears throat> I like him so much because he's just ridiculously agile. His dribbling is fantastic and he's probably one of the best dribblers in FIFA 21 to be honest with you guys. Like his dribbling is incredible and that's what makes him such a good wide player to use man. So yeah very very effective. His shooting is very good as well but like I said that agility balance ball control dribbling and composure is just ridiculous. I mean look at that man 92 agility 93 balance 91 ball control it's just absolutely crazy he's pacey of course as well his finishing is good he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot you can't really complain when it comes to using eden hazard so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up him but in the right wing spot to complete the attacking trio we do have a slightly cheaper player but still very much a great card to use and like i said man these i mean not like i said but these kind of players here these are the players that you want to be using because um they're just the most effective you know lucas mora again a very very effective card purely because of his agility um balance his pace his shooting is good as well like he's just a fantastic great cheap card to use and again i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up as you can see he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot can't really complain with that 95 acceleration 89 sprint speed can't really complain with that 79 finishing feels much better in game i have to be honest with you guys his finishing does feel a lot better in game but again that 93 agility 92 balance 85 ball control 88 agility wingers with this um this much agility are wingers that are the most effective to use in fifa 21 so yeah that's all i have to say about that man make sure you guys go ahead and get lucas mora get jao felix and get eden hazard those players are absolutely fantastic but we're gonna move on anyways we're gonna move on and in towards the midfield we go guys we do have lorente just 
just a cheap overpowered player man i think we all know that marcus lorente is a great card to use at the start of fifa everyone was using this guy and i, I, I even use him sometimes now like i just think he's a very usable card man he gets the job done you know he, he does what he needs to do in that midfield he's pacey um as you guys can see he's got 88 sprint speed defensively he's good and actually going forward he's pretty decent as well um so yeah i just think that he's a great a great card to use man very very good defensively he's got the pace about him and he's also good at um shooting as well so i just think he's a great card so make sure you guys go in and pick up marcus lorente he should do you guys a, a wonderful job from that midfield but with that being said in the right cdm position we do have in form tangai undumbele a great card and i'll tell you why i love this card so much especially from that midfield because it's because of his agility his agility his balance his ball control is just ridiculous and to have such high dribbling abilities from the midfield from that cdm position is actually a game changer and i think it really really does improve your game a lot as you can see he's got 83 acceleration 73 sprint speed four star skill moves as well um 87 agility 89 balance 89 ball control 91 dribbling 90 composure it's absolutely fantastic when it comes to defending as well he's pretty decent and actually going forward i think he's very good as well like his stat there is, says only 63 finishing which in my opinion is ridiculous because in game is a lot better than that but i think indombele is actually a good card a reliable card to have in the midfield and i think you i think you guys just need to give him a chance because i don't think many people will give this card a chance but actually get to use this card in game and you'll find that it's actually a very very good cdm card to have he's strong he's good at defending great at dribbling and just a very very good well-rounded player in general so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and pick up and Dumbele. but with that being said moving on into the left cdm position guys we actually do have the man anton grisi griezmann um who won't be playing in the cdm spot do not worry about that he is just there for chemistry reasons make sure you guys do convert him to a cdm after buying him so he does get full chemistry but wow this is the first time i'm seeing that griezmann face change but um yeah anton griezmann a good card again that we do have in the side i think he's uh, a very very good cam card to use in the game yes he doesn't have that pace about him but i think in the 4 3 one formation in that cam spot you don't necessarily need to be super super pacey but again he's got high agility good balance good uh, ball control great dribbling and composure his finishing is ridiculous and that left foot of his is something special i'll tell you right now finesse shots on griezmann's left foot is absolutely ridiculous so make sure to use and abuse those because it is very very effective um with his left foot um but yeah i think griezmann is a good card he's got good passing as well as you guys can see you know his short passing is good his long passing is quite good but i think in game griezmann is a fantastic card um four star uh skill moves is that skill moves as well yes he's only got three star weak foot but i don't really think that like that's such a bad thing. I think this FIFA players with freestyle weak foot um, are still very much usable and are, st are st still um, a very uh, good card. So, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and get Anton Griezmann. He is a fantastic player. But with that being said, guys, we're going to move on in towards the defense. And in the left back position, we do have... The man himself, one of the best left backs in the game, if not the best left back in the game. He goes by the name of Ferland Mendy. Do I really have to say anything else other than Ferland Mendy? I think, like, we all know that Ferland Mendy is just the GOAT when it comes to left backs in FIFA. Everyone uses him. Everyone knows he's incredible. I'm not even going to spend too much time waffling on about this guy. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot one of the best left backs in the game that's all i gotta say that's literally all i gotta say man we all know that uh fella mendy's incredible so let's just move on let's move on man in towards the right back spot guys uh we go we do have another french player um a french league one in form right back he goes by the name of ruben aguila um i think he's a pretty decent card i would recommend getting him with a shadow chemistry style just to increase that pace a little bit like he's got a decent amount of pace but obviously you can increase it so yeah make sure you just get a shadow chemistry style to improve that pace but with that being said man he's a good card he's a steady card and he should get a very good job done for you guys as you can see his agility is good his dribbling and ball control is pretty decent his defending is good as well and he's got a little bit of pace but again i recommend that you get him with a shadow chemistry style so he does get um that boost of pace that you do need um for this card but yeah i think he's a decent card make sure you guys go ahead and get him but with that being said we're going to move on in towards the center of barque partnership and now guys this is where it gets even juicier right i'm not gonna lie this is where it gets even juicier so in the right center back spot we do have a card which again i just don't see anyone use and considering he's french as well i'm surprised people don't link him with ran i really really am surprised maybe because he's from bundesliga i don't know but we do have informed deo upamakano a fantastic card to use in fifa so make sure you guys go ahead and get him he's actually got a headliners card as well now but yeah this inform is fantastic make sure you guys go in and pick it up 
It's such a good card. It really, really is such a good card. 87 sprint speed, 71 acceleration, 93 strength, 84 aggression, 80 interceptions, which in game feels a lot better than that. 88 standing tackle, 80 slide tackle, and 78 um, defensive awareness. He is ridiculously fast in game, which allows you to play a high line. He's good at defending. He is just a tank. He's a beast. I recommend that you guys get Deo up on Makano, man. A fantastic card to get in FIFA, in my opinion. So, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and get him. But to partner up with, with Upper Makano, we do have um, his Leipzig and and a French teammate, he goes by the name of Konate. Again, a good card, but again, a card that I thought I would see a lot more in FIFA. But again, um, I guess just people don't want to use him. I don't know why, though. I really don't know why, because this card is fantastic as well. Just like Upper Makano, Konate, he's got that pace about him. He's got that strength, you know. He's got the defensive abilities. This card is crazy. It really, really is. As you can see, he's got 89 standing tackle, 80 defensive awareness, 83 sl uh, slide tackle, 82 interceptions, 87 strength as well, 83 sprint speed. Like, this card is a very very good sweaty card to use so i recommend that you guys go ahead go ahead and get him i really really do man make sure you guys go ahead and, and get him just a fantastic card man he really really is and i think this partnership here with pomacano and kanate is a solid solid partnership so make sure you guys go ahead and do that um but yeah to complete this incredible team in the goalkeeper position we do have none other than a man himself in form um i'm not really sure how to pronounce his name i'm pretty sure it's like my my nan or something like my nan is it I mean, it sounds like it to be honest. My, my nan, yeah, my nan. I'm just gonna call it, call it my nan, yeah, my nan. That's his name for today's for, for, for today's video. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. If you know, let me know down in, in uh, the comments. But yeah, in for my nan, pretty decent card if you ask me. I actually do. I use his gold card like at the very, very, very beginning of FIFA 21. Um, I had his normal gold card in like a, in a League One hybrid, and it was actually pretty good. So I think this in form um is actually a good keeper to use. You could also use Hugo Lloris if you wanted to, but I think Maynan is a pretty decent keeper to use. So yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and get him, man. He should do you a fantastic job but with that being said as you guys can see this is the incredible 400k hybrid all right make sure you guys use this team it really really is a fantastic team but with that being said i'm going to quickly show you guys what formation to use in game and that formation is going to be the 4231 formation all right we all know that this formation is very very overpowered um in this formation this is how you want to set it up let me quickly change the players around so you want lucas on the right you want eden hazard left then you want Griezmann in that cam spot, Jao Felix up top. There you go. So this is how you want to set it up, guys. As you can see, Undumbele and Lorente is the two CDMs. Uh, Anton Griezmann as a central cam, Lucas Moura on the right, Hazard on the left, and then Jao Felix in that striker position. All right. Make sure you guys do set it up like this in game, and then yeah, you can just you can just start destroying your opponents and foot champions and individual rivals. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you guys do leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss any more uploads. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly uploading these overpowered squad builders for you guys. And like I said before I end the video, click the link down below in the description and check out the foot champions highlights on the RTG. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it from me today. Make sure you guys do subscribe and turn on post notifications, like the video and all that good stuff. And until next time, peace.